All right, so I found somewhat of a workaround for the Bluetooth lag. It's kind of annoying. I hope they'll be able to fix the actual Bluetooth issue in the future, but uh, it's kind of silly that I have to turn to using um, one of these Bluetooth FM transmitters to get what I need. So basically I set it to 107.9 because that radio signal is probably the least used because it's at the end of the frequency. This does go to 108 and um, also if you look at the beginning, it this is 87.7. It can actually go to like 87.6 or something on this adapter. The problem is the cars don't allow you to do that. So yeah, it would be nice if the cars allowed you to go one frequency beyond, um, but I guess there's some probably some laws or something that prevent them from doing that. Like people, um, the certain frequencies are purchased for certain use. Anyways, we got the cigarette lighter thing in here. So what we do, we just open that up. All right, we're gonna plug this in. There are all different kinds of these FM transmitters. Personally, I would probably use a different one because this one, as you can see, you can barely see the screen from here. Um, I bought this to use with my old car, so I'm not gonna buy another one unless I really, really need it. The problem with these is, as you can see, now you have less access to your stuff here because this is blocking your way. So when you wanna get stuff in here, if you put larger stuff, you'd have to take this out and you also lose some of your space. So I wonder if there's a USB-C version of this. I looked for USB-C um, little adapters. So they have a USB-C to cigarette lighter. I don't know if that will work. But anyways, as you can see, it's set to 107.9. This thing also you can use for phone stuff, but I don't use the phone. Uh, I mean, I have the phone set up to the Tesla already. So of course, we're only using this for the um, the FM uh, audio stuff. All right, so let me show you how this works. So I set it to 107.9. So we set this to 107.9. And here you can see if I press this. Oh, sorry. Is it hooked up right now? Oh, the volume's down. <laughs> okay, I forgot I turned the volume off. Anyways, here you'll see. All right. In the video, you can't really tell. But if I'm using this to actually play music... It's kind of a little bit um, little bit disorienting because it's a tiny bit off, but this is way better. Like if you're watching videos, it's gonna be perfect. Like you're not gonna really be able to tell a difference. But if you're using it to like play like a game like that piano thingy, Guitar Hero type stuff, or DDR, whatever those kinds of things, it's gonna throw you off a lot. So yeah, you can't really use this for that, but so one way you can tell is like if I press this as fast as I can. So you can still hear a few more after I stop pressing it. But anyways, this is a much nicer, I mean, at least this works. So I have a, at least it's nice that I have a solution that I can use for watching video. The only thing is when you're on the go, because some radio stations might actually use this 107.9, you're going to start getting staticky uh, frequency and stuff like that because it's going to start picking up the, the local radio signals. Um, but yeah this is a much at least this is better than not not having it to use at all or it's just super delayed yeah because bluetooth with that much delay that with the car's bluetooth not worth it at all i can't use it at all except for music but this has all this music stuff anyway so um yeah the only time i'll use the the bluetooth audio to the car speakers is if i'm watching videos on my phone or doing something where it's going along with what's being displayed on the screen not just listening to music so yeah that's my workaround for that it works um and actually it works better or at least i feel it works it's less delay than my friend's tesla which already had a nice like um I think it was like half a second. My car is like a second or more delay. So this is probably like less than a quarter of a second. So much better. Okay. Again, they do have different types. So if, if you can find one where the screen kind of faces up, that would work pretty well. I can probably look for some and I'll post some links um, in the description or the comment section below. Um, because this one, yeah, if you need to change the frequency, then that's going to be a pain. Um, one other nice thing is it adds like regular USB ports. So if you need to charge regular USB devices and the USB-C adapters don't work, then this will work for you. All right. It also puts in another USB-C port. I don't need that many USB-C ports. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, I don't know if this works while the car is completely off. Um, let me see. I'm going to try going outside of the car, close the car and stuff. And we're going to see if it stays connected to that Bluetooth device or not. Let's, let's try that because I haven't tried it. All right, I'm going to try locking the car real quick. So let's go in here. Come on. Come on. Wrong stuff. Okay. I'm going to lock the car. And hopefully that means it shuts off. And if we have the Bluetooth, because I don't want the Bluetooth to stay on while you can see it's connected for audio. So if that thing stays on, it might be draining power the entire time. So I don't know. Hopefully it's not going to stay on the entire time. Um, if it does turn off, I'll let you guys know. For now, it's just staying on. So that might not be... That might not be good. I might have to have a way to turn it off or unplug it when I'm not using it. So that kind of might be an issue. Let me open this back up. Um, I think this one has an off button. Uh, if I keep holding the, the red button here, which is blocked by the cover. But if I keep holding this, I think it turns off. Yeah, there you go. It turns off. And then the radio turned on now. But anyway, so I might, if I use this, I'm going to have to remember to turn it off. Otherwise, it's just going to keep wasting power. So that might be a slight issue. Um, but anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.